today I'm going to be showing you how I made these day tops and to start off I'll show you how I made this reversible top and from there I'll add on different steps to add a frill bottom and other styles as well. So for my fabric I use these ones for the outer layer but then for the lining I use this satin black for the inside and then I just use regular ribbon for the tie straps. And then for my eyelids, I just, um, I got these flower ones because I thought they were really cute, but any eyelet works. Or you can, I'll show you another way where you don't have to use eyelets if you don't have any. Okay, so for my pattern, I use Nava Rose's corset top pattern. I'll link it in my description box below, but basically I use this as a template and for this one, I taped it together, but usually I'll take it apart. And then depending on my customer's size and custom measurements, I'll fit it to their needs. So now I'm placing both my outer and lining fabric in half like this and tracing my pattern on top. Okay, so for the fold, we're just placing it on like this. Also, Nava's original pattern had a really long strap, but since I'm going to re be replacing that with ribbon, I just didn't attach it and I also folded it down a little so it's a little shorter. So now I'm going to cut out all my pieces and remember to place this piece on the fold. So now I finished putting out one piece and when you open it up, you're going to have this whole bodice piece. And now I'm just going to do the same thing to this one and this one. Okay, so now I have all my pieces cut out. So these are all my pieces. And then now I'm going to sew it together. So this goes with this. And then this goes with this. So don't combine these two yet. So for my sewing needle, I use my smallest size needle since satin, if you use like a big needle, it does puncture a hole. So just make sure to use a small needle. And now I'm sewing all the pieces together using the clips as a guide.
I'm also doing the same thing to my inner layer, which is my black satin. Okay, so now that I have both of my lining and the top part done, I'm gonna iron it out since it's like, you can tell it's like poofy. So you just wanna press the seams on one side. So you just press it down for both of these. So now I'm going to place both my fabrics front side to front side, so they're both facing each other. And then I'm going to sew around the whole entire top, except for one side. So now I cut slits at the top of the shirt so when I turn it inside out there wouldn't be any bumps and afterwards I began to turn it all inside out using that one side that we did not sew close. After turning it inside out I ironed everything once again to make it look really clean and crisp. And now I'm cutting out two 16 inch strips of ribbon for the straps to add on when we top stitch the edge of the whole top and I'm making sure to fold in the raw edges of that one side that we didn't close off earlier just like this. I'm also replacing the top thread of my sewing machine with brown thread, but I'm not replacing the bottom since the back lining side is black and not brown. So when I get to the top of the straps, I'm taking one of my ribbon pieces and placing it inside the top, making sure to tuck in the raw edges of the straps.
And now I'm going to be attaching my eyelids to the back of the left and right side of my top. And I linked a tutorial down below in my description box if you wanted a more in-depth tutorial of how to attach these eyelids. And now I'm cutting the ends of my ribbon to create a nice finishing touch and lacing it up. And this is how the first top came out like. You can flip it either way and wear it on the brown side or black side and there won't be any raw edges or ugly seams shown. Okay, so now for the ruffle part at the end of the corset, I'm going to be cutting out a long piece of rectangle. So this is just the same brown fabric I have earlier and I just folded it in half to make it easier to cut. And I'm just going to cut a long strip that is 3 inches. Now I'm folding in the raw edges twice on all the sides so that the edge doesn't fray and I'm sewing a straight stitch all around. So after folding in all the edges, I'm sewing a straight line leaving a long tail before I begin sewing and lining up the edge of my fabric with the sewing foot and making sure not to backstitch for this part and I'm also leaving a long tail after I finish sewing as well. Okay, so now that you have this long strip, there's like the two ends. You're just gonna pull on one of them. So I'm gonna pull on the brown thread and then it's gonna start like scrunching together. And I'm just going to keep pulling the thread and making sure not to pull too hard because it might break. And I'm just going to push it around until I like the shape of the ruffle and it's all even. And you can also start on the other side and pull on that side as well. Just make sure to pull on the same thread, so the brown one, not the black one. So I kept on ruching it together until it was long enough to fit around the whole bottom of the top. And if you find that the ruffle is too small, you can just pull it apart until it's long enough to fit the bottom. And now the last step is to attach the ruffle to the bottom of the top. So I just laid the ruffle flat, making sure it doesn't twist weirdly, and I'm just going really slow, sewing it down. <laughs> So at this point, you have another corset top. This one just has the frill at the bottom. And you can also leave this as a halter, but I'm going to add more ribbon and then show you another style. So I'm just taking the same ribbon as before, cutting out two 16-inch strips. And then again, I'm going to cut the ends so they have a nice bow shape. I'm gonna attach it to the back of the corset. So I'm just gonna attach it one right here and you don't have to worry about hiding it on the inside because it's not gonna be a reversible top anymore since we added the bottom frill part.
and this is the finished top so for my last top i lost most of my footage where i sewed all the pieces together so it doesn't really make sense so instead i'm gonna be explaining it and if you have any questions comment down below and i'll try to clarify them so this is the third top that i made looks like this so basically i did the same exact thing as the other top but instead of the bottom, I replaced it with this lace. This is what it looks like. I got it from Joann's and basically I just um, sewed it around the edge of the top. And then instead of cutting the pieces up on the pattern, I just made it one long continuous piece. So there's no seams. And then for the ties, I used this. I think it's organza. I'm not really sure. But I got this fabric. I cut it up into super long strips. And then I just made a tie bow. And for the back, so this is how it looks like. So this part right here, how I made like the little loops for it to go through, I just took like a piece of long strip. I twisted it like this and then I just folded it and then I sewed it down. And that's it for this video. I hope this inspired you to make your own top. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And my Depop is linked in my description box below in case you want to buy any of these tops.